What is up to my gang? What is up to my squad? Kings and queens, jits, kids, and teens. I am back with another video. It's Fool Ass Sky, and today we got Jeffree Star in the office. We also got this ball player boo in the office, or what we thought was his boo. Now, look, I don't want to talk y'all head off. Let's get straight into this topic. So, I take it as the two are no longer on great terms as of now. But the dude posted, guess I'm back on here again. Drop your snaps and add me. Jeffrey commented, he said, hey, since you can't answer the phone right now, can you give me all the stuff back that you stole from my house? What kind of low life scum does that? Give it back. If you need a return label, just ask. Now, Andre, the ball player, Jeffrey Star Boo, or whatever they had going on, he responds and he basically says that it's cap. Oh, hello, you guys. All right. I did not plan on coming on here today for a little chat. We're going to have a book. Honey, so grab a Red Bull and let's dive in because I just hopped on Twitter and there's a lot of Jeffree Star got robbed, Jeffree Star got this and that. So let me tell you what Jeffree Star did and didn't do. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate, but sometimes when you meet people, <gasps> surprise, they're not who they say they are. <laughs> so y'all, real quickly, Jeffree Lynn got a little played. So I've been hanging out with someone, just two grown adults having sex and chilling, nothing serious, but I was presented a whole different person than, than who this man really was. So, and that's fine. Y'all, y'all, y'all know out there, I'm sure a lot of you out there have dated or dealt with or even hung out with some shit people and yes, it should happen to me. <laughs> so about a week ago, Jeffrey Lynn uh, discovered a lot of things. And this person uh, secretly had uh, no job, no money, not even a bank account. And we're talking this person's 30 years plus. So all these things that I were told were all false. Um, and I was lied to. And I was like, okay, bye, sweetie. It was really good meeting you. Thanks. Bye. Um, and then all of a sudden, there's some Louis Vuitton uh, luggage missing. Um, there's some backpacks missing and there's a few sunglasses missing so jeffrey star got robbed no someone just stole a, a few things now i know jeffrey you can just rebuy it i'm not complaining about no value no money it's just a principle i don't care if someone steals a nickel off your counter it's wrong um and if you revel and enjoy anything if you enjoy bad news for anyone, including me, you're, you're sick. Because I logged on Twitter and y'all, some people are like, yes, someone got him, f him. I'm like, there's a special place in hell for you. Um, but yeah, so some design stolen from me and it, it isn't about what it is. It's just so basically the dude got finesse. You got robbed. Your items were took without your consent. You didn't know. Jeffrey had jokes and so did Mr. Ball player. It reads here. This is what being a guy with no bank account and no job could get you. Yes, that is a picture of Mr. Ball player with his feet lying on Jeffree Star as he get a haircut. My dude wasn't done just yet. He posted this. I just needed a bag. Basically saying, look, dude, I use you for your money. And then Mr. Ball player says this. Shall I tell the people? Ha ha. I see they are gone. Now look, whatever Jeffree Star had on his Snapchat, this dude was not here for it, and he was about to let it all out. And then he posted this screenshot to his Instagram story. My lawyer screenshotted your threats, and you signed a non-disclosure agreement where you cannot say my name or post any photos. I don't get why you won't just give me my stuff back. You put my health at risk, and all I showed you was respect. All right, you guys. I'm going to go have dinner with some family. I hope everyone has a beautiful mother. Wednesday. I just want to say that I'm in a really great mood. I am coronavirus free. I had my 100th test yesterday. Um, I'm STD free. STD free. And, STD free. and bitch, I'm good. Hold up now. I may not be the smartest fish in the sea, but in this message, you said this dude put your health at risk. Now you're saying you're STD free? What's going on? Y'all just let me know what y'all think in my comment section below. And I will keep you guys updated on this situation. So stay tuned. Last question. Do y'all believe this to be a scheme for publicity? Let me know in my comment section below. Thanks for watching.